first look at what voters are thinking since last year's presidential election. TMJ Force political reporter Charles Benson talked to NBC's Chuck Todd about early signs for the 2022 midterm elections in Wisconsin. We are joined by NBC's Chuck Todd, moderator of Meet the Press. And Chuck, I know you'll be talking about the impact of the election this Sunday. So we are midway to the midterm elections, but given the Republican wins in Virginia and the close call for Democrats in New Jersey, is 2022 starting to look like 2010 when you have political newcomers like Ron Johnson riding a red wave into office? Look, it's hard to say no. I mean, it really does look that way because history, forget just 2010, I mean, any time these off-year elections are, are, are this decisive, right? And while I know some Democrats are trying to say, oh, but we held New Jersey. You're like, yeah, it was a 16-point state that you hung on to by, by the skin of your teeth. When you see a direction in dramatically in one direction, every single time, Charles, it has led to that, to a midterm loss of at least one chamber for that party, right? So history is not on the side of Democrats at all after these results. The only thing Democrats can hope for here to sort of change, I think, the trajectory of where this is headed is number one, this economy improves before the summer. Because it always, it's a lag, it always takes time for it to really impact voters. But if we get this, you know, post-COVID economic boom starting in April, May, June, that, that could change the mindset of voters. And then this, the other wild card here that could perhaps change this trajectory is if Donald Trump decides to get more involved, right? Whatever, whenever he's more involved, it complicates Republicans. When he's less involved, they're able to focus it about the Democrats. But right now, if this continues to be basically a referendum on Democratic governance and Democratic cultural issues and all of those things, it's going to be a long, long year for Democrats and a pretty bullish election night for Republicans. Chuck, I know Dane County will be one of the counties you focus on in 2022. But one of the things that jumped out at me at the Marquette poll when voters were asked who they're going to vote for in the governor's race or the U.S. Senate race and more than half responded someone else. I mean, there are perils here for both sides. There really are. I think the, you know, the reason why I, you know, why we picked Dane, and I think it really is going to matter a lot now after you saw what I would say an uneven turnout among Democrats in both states, in Virginia and New Jersey, you know, there's a debate. Is part of the problem for Democrats that the, the, the poor harder. progressive base doesn't feel like they're getting anything? Young voters, where's their free college tuition? Where, where's their help with student debt? Where's the free community college? You know, is that the issue? Or are the Democrats culturally too far out of out of the mainstream, right? You know, as James Carville put it, you know, arguing to have Abraham Lincoln's name or Thomas Jefferson's statue taken down, things like that. So what I'm curious about is, is this frustration with leadership translate into a dampened turnout among young voters? Look, that's a recipe for Democrats to lose if that happens. You can watch Chuck Todd this Sunday morning at 8 a.m. on TMJ4. Thanks, Chuck.